thanks very much for joining us, sir. Uh, yes. As I was pointing out, the Prime Minister has constituted an economic advisory council headed by uh, Dr. Bibik yes. Debroy, sir. I wanted yes. to get yes. your thoughts on, uh, A, the, the need for, the, the clearly the need that the Prime Minister has felt to set up this economic advisory council when he chose not to three and a half years ago. And uh, what yes. do you believe will this council be able to do meaningfully? Well, I can, uh, uh, I can give you an educated guess in the sense uh, from what I've learned from party circles uh, before this was announced, uh, that basically the data that uh, came out uh, uh, following my letter of May and some other publications in Bloomberg and other places, uh, it appeared uh, that he had not been kept abreast, abreast of the uh, actual uh, state of the health of the economy. And therefore, it was felt that uh, a council in the PMO, uh, which would be devoted entirely only to preparing uh, the data and the data that he needs to know on a daily basis. And so, therefore, a council, that was the original concept in Rajiv Gandhi's time also, yeah. uh, that, uh, you know, if the prime minister can't each time call up the finance ministry and ask them, it's better to have a council, uh, and the Americans also have a council of economic advisors. Sure. Uh, so I think that was the motivation, and I think it's a good step. Uh, it's welcome, and the people they have chosen, because I know uh, De Broy, he's, uh, he has done a lot of research work, so it should be good. Dr. Swami, you uh, wrote to the Prime Minister, sir, in the month of May, and I, uh, from yes. what I remember, yeah. it was a 16-page letter that you wrote. We yes. just spoke with yes. one of the members of the Council, Ashima Goyal, and she said yes. that while the committee will focus on issues like structural reforms, it will also mm. need to look at course correction. Uh, yes. What, to your mind, is the course correction that is needed today, sir? Well, first of all, I think uh, the cost of capital has to be brought down. And the reward for savings uh, has to be raised. Uh, the fixed deposit rates must go up. I think the harassment from taxes uh, uh, must go, and therefore the ultimate would be the abolition of income tax. Uh, I think basically we have to motivate the middle class and the, uh, and the, uh, the commercial, uh, the, uh, the people in the commerce and in, uh, industry and so on to feel enthused. Uh, right now they're feeling a bit suffocated by all the new regulations that have been imposed on them. Okay. okay. So one issue is is the ease of doing business and the other is the cost yes. of capital. Uh, Dr. Swami, yes. you know, people uh, from within industry like the Confederation of Indian Industry have been calling for a 100 basis point uh, cut, sir. Yes. And yes. there is clamor within the government that there should be an aggressive rate cut. Uh, you yes. know, what is the sense that you get within the conversations in the party, sir, about uh, uh, what the thinking is? Uh, I, as I can say, the, most of the people I have talked to in the party who are very senior level, who are ministers, are old friends of mine who would speak. Hello? Uh, yes. uh, who, they are all of the view that uh, we have to do something drastic. Uh, and uh, when I suggest that one of the ways is this way, uh, cut the interest rates very sharply, they're all in favor of it. Mm -hmm. Uh, but Dr. Swami, uh, at the moment, uh, interest rates are being set by the uh, uh, Independent Monetary Policy Committee. You expect uh, that uh, they would be influenced strongly by this or they would merely uh, do what they've been doing, uh, chase the 4% inflation goal? Well, this kind of helplessness that this committee, you, you had the same view of Raghuram Rajan also when I was asking for his exit. Uh, I don't think these, these things stand in the way. We have a crisis and we have to get over it. Okay. Uh, there is also a, a clamor that there should be a lot of uh, uh, public spending uh, to stimulate the economy. Where do you stand on that debate, sir? Do you think that uh, some kind of a fiscal stimulus that's is not so important, uh, That's not so important. No, that's not so important as uh, uh, helping the banks to become healthy again. That's, uh, there we have to do something drastic. Uh, it would be difficult for me to give you a uh, one-sentence answer on that because there, there are ramifications of every step you take. Uh, okay, so therefore I think the banks need to be fixed first. 
Dr. Swami, just on the issue of banks, uh, and we have Dr. Yes. Rakesh Mohan and Dr. S. Narayan with yes. us here on the program as well. Yes. Yes. Uh, you know, the possibility of a bad bank, which was first suggested by the chief economic advisor, uh, and then it was put on the back burner. If you're saying that something drastic needs to be done with banks, uh, what are you thinking at this point in time? What direction is it uh, that, th that the government seems to be working with? beyond just recapitalization well i uh, you know i don't know what these economists who are in the board will uh, how conservative or daring they are but if you ask me what needs to be done i think the, the this concept of npl i uh, have never been impressed by it in a country like india uh, i don't think uh, yeah, as long as you give the uh, the loans in a after due diligence uh, I am uh, I'm not in favor of these drastic steps taken in order to recover uh, uh, bad loans. Okay. So, uh, I mean, uh, it's a, that's why I said I can't give a one-sentence answer <laughs> because you can always find fault with what I just said and then I'll have to give sure. a counter-answer. But sure. there, there is a, you need a, you need a very bold steps to restore the bank to their health. All right, Dr. Swami, appreciate you joining us here on CNBC TV 18. Subramaniam Swami, Rajasabha MP of the BJP. We also